In this video we will try to understand this current controller and current limiter circuit which uses a low power voltage comparator integrated circuit LM393 and a power metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. First, we will look at the power supply line, which is marked as supply voltage. This supply voltage is feeding the load, which in this example is shown as a series of light emitting diodes. The current through these light emitting diodes must be limited, otherwise they can get damaged. Now the main job of this circuit is very simple. It continuously monitors the load current and automatically reduces it if the current tries to go above a preset safe limit. Now let us understand the sense resistor, which is marked as the resistor connected between the source terminal of the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor and ground. This resistor is extremely important. Whenever current flows through the load, the same current also flows through this sense resistor. Because of this, a small voltage drop appears across the sense resistor. This voltage drop is directly proportional to the load current. More current means more voltage across the sense resistor. Now let us move to the voltage comparator integrated circuit LM393. This integrated circuit compares two voltages. One voltage is the reference voltage, and the other voltage is the sense voltage coming from the sense resistor. The reference voltage is generated using a silicon switching diode connected across the non-inverting input of the LM393 and ground. This diode creates a nearly constant voltage of around 0.6 volts. Now the inverting input of the LM393 comparator IC is connected to the sense resistor voltage. So now the comparator is continuously comparing these two voltages. As long as the voltage across the sense resistor is less than the diode reference voltage, the comparator output remains in a state that allows the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor to stay switched on. Because of this, current flows normally through the load. Now let us understand what happens when current increases. When the load current increases, the voltage across the sense resistor also increases. The moment this voltage reaches the same level as the reference voltage, the comparator LM393 detects this condition immediately. At this exact point, the comparator output changes its state. This output is connected to the gate terminal of the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor through a resistor. When the comparator output changes state, it reduces the gate voltage of the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Because of this, the transistor starts reducing its conduction. As conduction reduces, the load current automatically drops. Now notice something very important here. This process is not an on and off action. It is a continuous and smooth control action. The LM393 comparator and the transistor together create a feedback loop. If the current tries to go up, the transistor reduces conduction. If the current tries to go down, the transistor allows more conduction. Because of this feedback action, the current stays locked at the maximum safe value. Now let us understand how the maximum current value is decided. The maximum current is determined by the simple rule. The diode reference voltage is around 0.6 volts. So the maximum current is equal to 0.6 divided by the value of the sense resistor. If the sense resistor value is 1 ohm, then the maximum current will be 0.6 ampere. If the sense resistor value is 0.5 ohm, then the maximum current will be 1.2 ampere. So by changing the sense resistor value, you can precisely set the current limit. Now let us talk about the two resistors connected to the comparator output. One resistor pulls the output upward toward the supply voltage. The other resistor limits the gate current of the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. These resistors ensure stable operation and prevent oscillation. If you understand this concept clearly, then you can confidently design current limiters for light emitting diodes, battery chargers, and power supply protection without fear. If this explanation helped you, then please like the video, share it with friends who are learning electronics, and subscribe to the channel for more practical circuit explanations. Thank you for watching, take care, and we will meet again in the next video.